In this tutorial video we're going to have a look at applying implicit differentiation to finding the stationary points of a curve. So this question here says find the coordinates of the two stationary points on the curve with equation x squared plus 4xy plus 2y squared plus 18 equals 0. When tackling questions like this it always helps to scan through the equation first to look for any terms that are going to require the product rule in order to be differentiated. We can see there that there's a 4xy. That 4xy needs the product rule to be differentiated. So let's use the product rule u equals 4x, which means the differential of u, u dash equals 4. v equals the second thing in the product, which is y, which means that v dash equals, well, the differential of y is 1. But because we've differentiated a y, we need to multiply by dy by dx. So it's 1 times dy by dx, which is dy by dx. Then applying the product rule, v u dash, 4y, plus u v dash, which is 4x dy by dx, is how 4xy differentiates. So now let's go for the whole expression. Differentiating. both sides with respect to x. Well, the first term, x squared, when we differentiate that with respect to x, we get 2x plus, so the next bit's more complicated, but because we've chosen to do all the products first, we've actually done all the working for that up here. So we know that the differential of 4xy is 4y plus 4x dy by dx. Next term, 2y squared, well that becomes 4y when we differentiate it, but because we've differentiated a y, we need times by dy by dx, plus 18, well 18 differentiates to 0, equals, and the differential of 0 on the right hand side is also 0. Now let's take all the non-dy by dx terms over the other side. So we get 4x dy by dx, plus 4y dy by dx equals minus 2x minus 4y. Factoring out the dy by dx, we get dy by dx bracket 4x plus 4y equals minus 2x minus 4y. Then dividing by 4x plus 4y, we get dy by dx equals minus 2x minus 4y over 4x plus 4y which at a stationary point is equal to 0 and it's important that you write the equal 0 here there's usually a mark for writing equal 0 when we talk about stationary points so now we've got a fraction equal to 0 two ways of thinking about how we can solve this we can either times both sides by the denominator so times that by naught and that by 4x plus 4y we end up with minus 2x minus 4y equals 0 times in both sides by 4x plus 4y we end up times it by 0 so it becomes 0 or we could think of it just as a fraction equal to 0 well the only thing that can possibly make that equal to 0 is the numerator being 0 so taking it over to the other side now we get minus 2x equals 4y then dividing by minus 2, we get x equals minus 2y. Now at this point in the stationary points question, we would expect to get not x equals a function of something, we expect just to get the answer, a coordinate. However, it's not usually the case with implicit differentiation questions. This is telling us that the stationary points lie on the line x equals 2y. We also know that the stationary points have to lie on the curve itself because it's the curve's stationary points we're talking about. So if we know that they lie on this line here and the curve here, if we solve them simultaneously, we should get the, uh, the stationary points. So subbing in x equals minus 2y into the coordinate equation, we get minus 2y squared plus 4, lots of minus 2y, times y, 
plus 2y squared plus 18 equals 0. So that becomes 4y squared and that becomes minus 8y squared plus 2y squared plus 18 equals 0 which implies that so 4 plus 2 is 6 minus 8 is minus 2y squared equals minus 18 that means that y squared equals 9 which means that y equals plus or minus 3 So summing that back into the equation on which we know the stationary points lie. So when y equals 3, x equals minus 2 lots of 3, which is minus 6. When y equals minus 3, x equals minus 2 lots of that, which is equal to 6. Therefore, giving stationary points minus 6, 3 and minus 3, 6 Many thanks to Nicole for pointing out the mistake in this final answer which is the coordinate isn't minus 3, 6 it's 6, minus 3 Thank you for that For more videos like this go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel